We have a critical issue in our state and in fact in our country all up and down our rivers uh, and that is a, an issue of, of water quality. Uh, we are at a point that has to be addressed uh, and it has to be addressed now. I believe that the best way that we can do it um, in Iowa is to fund the Conservation Trust Fund which was passed uh, in 2010 has been setting empty since that time. Uh, we could, in fact, if we raise the sales tax three-eighths of a cent, uh, we could put $100 million in that fund to work on water quality projects, and, and I think that's the way to go. I fundamentally disagree with both Rob and Patty on this. The taxpayers of Iowa should not have sales tax raised to bribe the polluters. Here's the answer from the federal level. We're all running for senator, not governor. First thing is, let's change the farm bill. The Farm Bill currently has a soil conservation requirement. That if you qualify for federal benefits, you must minimize the amount of soil leaving your farm. Let's add a clean water requirement. That's the first law. And here's, where, here's the difference. On, on this side, you have somebody who wants to blame everybody and blame everybody and blame everybody. And on this side, you have somebody who's just staying with farmers and has been blaming the Des Moines Water Works. I'm the only person in this race who has united farmers, environmentalists, business leaders, and cities to work together through the Cedar River Watershed Coalition. I have passed the Watershed Improvement Review Board. I have passed the Iowa Flood Center. I've uh, passed legislation for watershed management authorities. And I've passed additional funding. And anybody who thinks we can solve this problem without additional public funding is naive. Uh, well, what I advocate is that, uh, that we tie uh, the clean water requirements that we need uh, to the, uh, the right to get federal crop insurance and that we use that as kind of a balancing point. I think one thing that pro uh, farmers legitimately have a problem with is they don't deal well with bureaucrats. We need somebody in between. I propose that the board of directors of the drainage districts, which all have a board elected by the farmers where there's no a drainage district, the county board of supervisors, put together a plan for each watershed that may be 100 square miles, maybe 50 mile, square miles, whatever. But they have a plan.